What's going on everyone, my name is Tenebris Infinite, and today we are going to go over the bug fixes for the Recon Update. Uh, in the Recon Update, we saw a lot of changes come to the game, as well as a huge slew of bug fixes. Though sadly, some of the more important bug fixes were not included, I still think that some of these bug fixes will be worthwhile to you dudes. Alongside that, we also have an updated list of known issues that I'd like to go through at the end of this video. So now we're going to go through these bug fixes, and we're going to go through them pretty verbatim with a little bit of banter on the side. There aren't too many bug fixes for us to go through, so this should be a pretty quick video. So, for bug fixes, in general, they fixed an issue where ticks would infinitely spawn from machine corpses. Sadly, if you watched my previous video or if you've played the game, you know that this has not been fixed. I'm hoping the team will get a hotfix or something out for this very soon. Uh, animation, art, and audio, they fixed an issue with uh, the deployable turret texture being buggy. In combat, weapons, and equipment, they fixed an issue where players could take damage from other players using experimental ammo. This is maybe the second or third fix on experimental ammo causing damage to other players. Hopefully they got it this time. Uh, they fixed an issue with base defense and multiplayer where the client doesn't get rewards or a reward pop-up after finishing what I'm going to assume is the base defense, because you don't receive rewards per wave. They fixed an issue with base assault where control points cannot get taken over by Phoenix in either the south coast or the forest region, so that was probably found out by the beta testers. They fixed an issue where the command center and base assault could, in certain cases, be killed before shield generators were destroyed. That's a shame, because that would be interesting, <laughs> uh, but... Either way, they fixed an issue with base defense in uh, the south coast, where none of the machines would shoot at the base. Fixed an issue with base assault, where enemies do not attack the player, they only attack the base. They fixed an issue where players could get stuck on the loading screen after being drowned during combat. It's good to see that one fixed. Um, they fixed an issue with base buildings that could be destroyed with the player's own shots. Uh, they fixed an issue where players could not assign equipment in their inventory. They fixed an issue in multiplayer where the client could not see anything in a damaged state in base assault. And lastly, they fixed an issue where the portable machine gun turret would float after the destructible object it was placed on is destroyed. For crashes in performance, uh, Community reported they fixed an issue with base building where uh, placement of a wall at the western border of Storskogen caused permanent save game corruption for some players. It's more than Stor Skogan, so hopefully the changes made at Stork Skogan will apply to other bases. If not, we'll find that out in time. Uh, they fixed an issue where the client would sometimes uh, crash when looting in multiplayer. For machines, they fixed an issue where runners wouldn't attack anything with their ranged weapons apart from missiles. And then they fixed an issue where machines walked their goal without being able to get distracted by environment events or the player. That one's still in the game as well. They fixed an issue in multiplayer with the Break of Dawn mission where players were unable to complete the ammo objective if they opened an ammo box in an MP game, then returned to their own session. They fixed an issue where the VO of Teresa and Pontus would play when starting a new game. They fixed an issue with the Sanctuary mission in multiplayer where collect materials, counting objective did not work properly. They fixed an issue with the home team mission where Pontus would sometimes go missing after restarting the game in the middle of an objective. They fixed an issue with the Breaking Dawn mission in multiplayer where if you joined the game after the pistol and flashlight have been taken, they were unobtainable. They fixed an issue with uh, Breaking Dawn in multiplayer where only one player can take the ammo from the police car. They fixed an issue with dialogue that should play after completing the home team starts. They fixed an issue with the mission item of the map of the second radio mast where it has incorrect information. They fixed an issue with the mission calling for help where the dialogue near Sultolman base was not triggered when the objective changes. And then lastly, they fixed an issue where a new character can start a game with a flashlight locked on after restarting the account's progress. We got two more quick sections to go through here. For the UI, they fixed an issue where weapon wheel prompts text or er, text text on all its slots. Very nice placeholders. Uh, they fixed an issue where no notification would appear when looting a sapling from anywhere on the map. Looting? Oh, they mean the trees, right? I was like, what is this fucking Minecraft? But 
Anyway, then they fixed an issue with misaligned interaction boxes with arrows icons during character creation. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> they fixed an issue with the scroll wheel where it wouldn't show ammunition amount on any weapon. They fixed an issue where the control point icon is visible, although no control point buildings are present. Interface gameplay trigger for horde mission icons has a very long range. So I guess they fixed that one. Uh, they fixed an issue where the mouse pointer is offset in the text field when registering an Apex account. They fixed an issue with inventory sorting by weight and stack weight where it did not take into account uh, weapons with attachments. They fixed issues where players could not build in Silovec and uh, Berghoden, although it shows green. They fixed an issue where the difficulty triggers offset from the physical object uh, at a bunch of places. They fixed an issue for base assault where the health bar for the Phoenix Control Point Center and the Player Command Center is always full for the client. With the world, they fixed an issue where players have a hard time finding the last weapon in Sultam. Good to see that. Uh, they fixed an issue with the map where it was showing ocean, although there is new land in the world in the South Coast region. They fixed an issue with the Sultan Bridge, where players could get stuck on collision inside the metal shipping crate. They fixed various issues where players could get stuck in a few places at the Kulk Brotet safe house. They fixed collisions with the angled wall inside the ring wall towers in Hagaboda. They fixed an issue where it was possible to get stuck between a container and a stack of sandbags at the road barricade in the north, north coast region. Uh, they fixed an issue where the wolf could teleport into a destroyed bunker where it got stuck. Uh, fixed some areas of floating grass and vegetation. Uh, they fixed some shed props. They fixed a section of road that did not have correct material textures and allowed consumable trees to spawn where they shouldn't. They fixed float, uh, floating container and sandbags at the road barricade in the north coast region. Okay, so now for the important part, the known issues, and I'm probably going to have a timestamp down in the video so that that way you guys can jump to this part really easily. Uh, so for the known issues, uh, one of them is really, really important for us to talk about here, uh, and there there might be another few possibly in the mix. Uh, machines that are fighting each other in large groups may stop shooting at each other and the player in certain situations. Not too big of a deal. UI for objectives sometimes does not update when objectives complete. Uh, uh, that could be a little bit frustrating, but as long as the mission itself completes, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But the next one is a real big issue. Scale form can sometimes crash the game after completing a base assault. My dudes just straight up don't do base assaults at this point. It's, it's really disappointing to see that not only can you get a crash from the base beforehand and the base existing, but you can also get a crash from just completing the base assault itself. I know in the past we've talked about the team stumbling on a major release, but I don't think we've ever seen them stumble this hard. This has been months and months and months of issues for a feature that we waited a year for. That is like, like what the heck, man? Anyway, in Broing and Farmland, sometimes players cannot destroy the Phoenix Central Tower even though the shield and gener or even though the shield generators are down. Uh, there's an occasional random crash at login on uh, the Win 10 version. Uh, there's an occasional crash when placing a waypoint on the map. In multiplayer, the base assault mission can sometimes not update after a host destroys a shield generator. Sometimes base assault reward pools do not match the base difficulty level. Machines can sometimes get stuck on a slope or hill during base defense in the south coast at Tors Perga. And then, remote-controlled explosives sometimes blink their VFX and are not always synced between the host and clients and multiplayer. I'm disappointed, my dudes. I, I can't really hide it here. Uh, you know, I, I very much, as, as a content creator, I want to wear my heart on my sleeve. When I'm excited, I want you dudes to know that. And when I'm disappointed, man, I want you dudes to know that too. And the recon update, sadly, has been a disappointment here. Uh, the weapon rebalancing is great, but that's the only good thing. Uh, I guess the crafting rebalancing, too. Those are the only good things to come from this update. Maybe a couple of those bug fixes along the way, but most of them didn't seem that massive. And 
the problem is, is that we have this errant overruling issue with another major feature, just like the assignments. And it's like, why? Why are you adding this to the game if it's just going to become worse and worse as time goes on or just completely not function at all? Anyway, my dudes, hopefully we'll get to some better times here in Generation Zero. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, avoid bases, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.